Hello y'all and welcome to another Transformer review. This is based off of the Generation 2. And there's a couple of jet fighters here that I want to review. So let's go ahead and get off into it. I have a couple of them here. These are all Generation 2. And my son has already reviewed two of them. So I'm not going to worry about reviewing them, but I will tell you some of the bios on them. The first one right here is Hooligan. His wings spread out. And his wings go back in to fold in. He does have wheels for landing and they do go in like so and if you was wondering why this hook is on the back it's because they had pressure missile launchers that you actually press with your finger to make them launch which I do not have any so that's the reason why you'll see these claws on a couple of them the what on the back the way that they are nice design on the fin right there let's see if we can get a little close up of it let's see if I can get a little bit closer there we go that's the design on this tail fin as far as hooligan. He is and he transforms into a F-22 Raptor. That's what he's modeled after. Down here is all bulk for transformation. And put him down right there and get on to a little bit of his bio and then I'm going to put him off to the side hooligan these are known as the G2 cyber jets hooligan his idea of a great joke is usually something mean spirited and destructive his greatest flaw is a tendency to go too far in pursuit of a good joke so he's pretty much the prankster and he is a Decepticon so with Hooligan out the way let me go ahead and get his landing gears back down and I'm going to set him off to the side that is the bio for Hooligan. The next one is Space Case. This is Space Case. He transforms into a AX-29 jet. Like a X-Wing. So this is Space Case. And his deal is... I'm sorry. Skills consist mainly of going very, very fast. Thanks to his plasma-powered engines. It's on the back. His weakness mainly consists of being dumber... Than a fence post. He is so dumb, he should almost certainly have been killed in combat by now. Only raw speed and dumb luck have kept him alive this long. And that is Space Case. And like I said, we're not going to go too far off into it because the review has already been done. Look down to the other 
reviews and my son has done a review on Space Case and Hooligan. So we are going to put them out the way. The next one is Skyjack. This is Skyjack. He is based on a Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk. That's what he is based off of. Landing gears on the bottom. Okay. So now, his bio is Skyjack is a master of spy who should never be trusted. He'll toast your health in one moment and blast you in the back the next. In his free time, he's been known to use human cars as target practice together with his mentor, Dreadwing. So that is a look at Skyjack. And right here on the side, he has FB-117. FB-117. Skyjack. Okay. Now to get on to the last two. Jetfire. Jetfire is another F-22 Raptor. Now, here's the thing and the reason why I situate both of these. Because there's a little deal going on with these. These Decepticon jets right here. Jetfire was once friends with the Decepticon cyber jets during his day back on Cybertron. However, after the war has raged on for centuries, he began to have doubts about the Decepticon cause. Jetfire switched sides to the Autobots. This act forever earned the hatred of the Decepticons and the Decepticon jets to him. So you're looking at a bad guy who didn't turn good guy. Jetfire. Now this one here is Strife. And Strife, now I had to ask my son to help me say this word because I really can't say it that well. Strafe transforms into a S a S Shuki Shuki S U dash forty seven Burkut. 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 Okay. Strafe over the time he began to sympathize with the Autobots. And along with Jetfire switched sides, his betrayal from the Decepticons has earned him the internal scorn of the remaining Decepticon Cyberjets. Strafe can be a little condescending at times willing to give his fellow Autobots an earful of lecture even in the midst of the heated battle. An 
that is strife. So what you have, a group once known as the Cyberjets of Decepticons. Now these were all Decepticons at one time. These two, that one and him, Strafe and Jetfire, switch sides to the Autobots. Where these three remain loyal to the Decepticon cause. Which that caused bad blood in between this group. So you have two good guys and you have three bad guys. Now we're going to get on to the transformation. One by one. We're going to go with Hooligan. Now some of these have the same transformation. You take the landing gears, pull them up. And then you're going to take the arm, turn it around, undo the legs right here that have a little tab hole right there, which tabs in right here. You're going to untab the leg, then from there. You're going to pull it down, then you're going to take the arms, come up, you're going to fold the arms out, down, and around, the claw, down, and around, and then from there, You are going to pull this one down like so and it's going to tab in on the little connector points and then you'll pull his arms up Arms up, straighten out his legs like so. Pull up his head and there you will have Hooligan. Come on, stand up, stand up, stand up. Anyway, I'll put him right there. That's who again, the jokester of the bunch, who carries jokes way too far, who probably put his life in danger with Megatron. Now the next one is Space Case. You pull the landing gears up, like so. And then you're going to untab his legs just like Hooligan. His tabs are back here and here with a peg there and there. Then you take his arms and you pull them out. Okay. Then you take this side and you are going to rotate it around the whole cab like so and this is going to collapse in and go back into the body like so
and then you're going to straighten out his legs and his arms Let's make sure I got him tabbed in here yes and there you have space case he is pretty much dumber than the Brox of rocks but the only thing that's kept him alive so far is his speed now we're going to get on to the spy the master spy who turns into the Nighthawk so let's get on with Skyjack okay I'll take his landing gears you'll fold them up and in then just like the other one except for this one here has a different transformation a little bit more different as you see his arms are not like the other two so you're going to take the hook the back part you're going to pull it down and you're going to pull this one up like so and you're going to leave them just like that for right now because he is about the most fiddly fiddliest fiddle the most complicated to transform out of them all because his design is a little bit different than the rest of them so you have to take your time transforming them and I probably didn't see that you pull that section out right there then you're going to turn it around and then from there and you got to be careful when you do this his head needs to come up and down and around and it wasn't supposed to do that There we go. He is about the most delicate one that you have to be very careful transforming. And there we have Skyjack. And now we're going to set him off to this side. <clears throat> so you have in the bad guys you have skyjack hooligan space case now for jet fire and strafe these pretty much he transforms the same way as hooligan his landing gears put them back in you can unpeg the arm right now but you have to definitely unpeg the legs and they just go in just like the other one where you have the post and then you have the hole let's see if I can get one of these arms up it post in on that peg right there okay and take the arm Flip it around and take the arm, come back around. And this one, I'm just going to transform him just like so. Come up, come back up with the arms.
And there you have Jetfire in his robot mode. Okay. Set him right here at the side. And now you have Strafe. Now his transformation is going to be just like Space Case. You take the wheels, fold them in. Take the legs, fold them down. Take the arms, fold them up. Fold them up. Then you're going to take this part and extend it. Then you're going to take, just like on Space Case, you're going to take this, you're going to spin it around. Then you're going to collapse it on itself. Like so. Take the wheels, take the legs, strain them out. Okay. Now let's see if I can get a group shot. I want him to stand. He'll stand right there. Stand. Let's see if I can make this happen here. And there you have Strafe. And his robot mode. As far as articulation, they have really good articulation. The arms can pretty much rotate all the way around, but kind of gets caught back there in the very back. But as far as the ball joints, they work pretty well. And the hooks that you see on their hands, they have a pressure missile, plastic missile that fits in there that you push and then it releases <clears throat> the head or on ball joints the head can turn left right can look a little bit down look a lot up legs in out Get a good rotation there of a plastic ball joint. You get some pretty good articulation. So the articulation for this is for this time because these were back in about 94, 93. So these were good products as far as articulation they had at the time. A hooligan is the same. In, out. I do like his design. His design is the best of them all. Jetfire is not bad. His, when you go to articulate him, you have to be careful because the way his arms transform, they're not the same as Space Case and Hooligan. And jet fire and strafe. His is different. You have to kind of, you got to kind of handle him with kid gloves. All right, let's see if I can get more group in here. Jet fire. And then you have strafe. Come out a little bit. Let's 
so there we have the cyber jets the leader of the cyber jets was hooligan originally of them all until these guys got tired of the war jet fire and strafe and they decide to get away from the decepticons and they switched their allegiance to the autobots which made space case hooligan and skyjack mad and that's the reason for it these three guys have revenge and really want to go after Jetfire and Strafe. So that is about it as far as the G2 Decepticon Autobot Cyber Jets. So that's about it. Want to say thank you. We appreciate y'all. We'll talk to you later. And if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. Have a good one.